social media can be daunting. It can be exciting and very, very frightening. But it is undoubtedly the best way to make your work visible and get seen in the industry. So I've invited on my good friend Haley from Motion Hatch to share with us her top five social media tips for motion designers. Posting on social media can help you to grow your network, get new clients, and even get you that dream job. But it's really difficult to know what to post, and most of us can't post finished pieces of animations daily. It just isn't an option. With platforms changing all the time, it's really hard to keep up. So what should we be posting on social media? Should we be posting pictures of our cats or our dogs, or should we be trying to keep it professional? In this video, I'm going to share with you my six top social media tips for motion designers. I've worked with hundreds of motion designers over the past three years on their businesses and also on their careers. Our Motion Hatch Instagram channel has over 30,000 followers. I've experimented with social media a lot myself. Experimentation on social is really, really important, but more on that later. So I want to share with you my top tips to help you with your social media. Make sure you stick around all the way to the end because I'm going to share with you the number one mistake that motion designers make on social media. So you're probably thinking, I've tried to use social media. I've tried to get followers and I've tried to get people to engage with my content, but I just can't keep up and it's really difficult. Now, let me just stop you there. Social media is about being social and as human beings, we're social creatures. So surely that means that social media should be for everybody. So that brings me to tip number one, be human on social media. It sounds so obvious, right? You're like, Hayley, I'm not a robot. But sometimes when we try and be overly professional, we can come across a little cold. We've all got those LinkedIn messages, right? So what you need to do is read your messages and posts out loud to yourself and see if they sound like you. Tip number two, in your profile, clearly show what you do. On social media platforms, your profile is really important. It's a place where you can show people who you are and what you do. You can also direct people to places like your website. It can be the difference between getting hired for a project and not getting hired for a project. So please make sure you keep your profiles up to date, you show people what you do, and you include a link to your website where you can. So tip number three, aim for engagement, not likes or followers. So most social media companies want their users to stay longer on their platforms. So they're looking for engagement on your posts. You need to optimize your posts for engagement. It can be as simple as asking a question to your followers. Like, do you like this green color scheme or this blue color scheme? You also get to know people on the platform and this helps you to build your relationships. So it's a win-win. Tip number four is be consistent. So if you don't listen to any of the other advice that I give you today, listen and implement this one because this is actually the most important thing that you can do on social media. Consistency is really important and people like to know what's coming. The apps also reward you for being consistent. But does this mean that you have to post daily on social media? No, it doesn't. Choose a platform that works for you, the clients you want, and also the posting schedule that fits into your life. So instead of posting for five days straight and then not posting for three months, why not try and spread those posts out? Now we're on to tip number five, limiting your time spent on social media. We all know it's probably smart to spend less time on social media. You end up going down that crazy Instagram rabbit hole and it's really not very productive but it is really important for your career. So I've got some tips to share with you that will help to limit your time, but how you can still utilize it to grow your motion design career or business. So how do we limit our time on social media while still being consistent? We can use a scheduling tool like later.com or Buffer to schedule our posts in advance so we don't actually have to be looking at the apps and get distracted by all the beautiful motion design pieces on Instagram and things like that. We can also block out time in our day to go on there and engage with other people, say thank you to them for commenting on our post and also like and comment on other people's posts. So this would be how I would recommend that you stay active on social media, but that you stay productive as well. My final tip is tip number six, experiment with social media. 
Now we know that social media is changing daily. I mean, who knows what the algorithms are up to? Since social media platforms are changing constantly, we really need to keep an eye out on what's working and what isn't. And also just know that maybe all social media platforms aren't gonna work for you or the clients that you want to get. What we need to do is experiment and see what works for us and the clients that we want to get. So what I recommend you do is to choose one platform to go all in on for three months and then track your results and see if you're getting the results that you want to get. At the start of this video, I promised that I would tell you the number one mistake that motion designers make on social media. And the number one mistake is not engaging with other people on social media and just talking about yourself and not being part of the community. It can really help you to build long lasting relationships online if you engage with others on social media. Remember, it is called social after all. It can really be as simple as sharing some tips and advice, even if you don't feel ready, or even just giving someone a compliment. It can go a long way. Hey, and while you're here, why not comment below and let us know what you thought of this video? Social media can help you to build long lasting relationships. It can give you the clients that are the right fit for you. It can also help you to get that dream job in motion design that you've always wanted. So that's my six top social media tips for motion designers. Remember, be a human on social media. Make sure you clearly put in your profile what you do. Aim for engagement, not likes and followers. Be consistent. Limit your time spent on social media. And tip number six, experiment. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about how to use social media as a motion designer, we've got a free social media guide for motion designers in the link below this video. So make sure you grab that. I'd love to see you over on the Motion Hatch YouTube channel and in the Motion Hatch community. Thank you.